Lewis, uh, another clean sheet for you, but is there a little bit of frustration in the dressing room this afternoon? Yeah, we would have liked three points. Clean sheet helps, we're only a point off the top now because they lost. We, should, we, we didn't stick to our game plan first half, which frustrated everyone. We've worked hard all week against watching their clips and their games and we didn't stick to it unfortunately and it kind of frustrated us but we tried to do it in the second half and we just couldn't score which was unfortunate but yeah a clean sheet helps, a point helps, we're still unbeaten in a little run we're in so yeah it's positives to take away from today. The gaffer said that you can't win them all, I suppose sometimes it's, it's just not your day. Yeah you can't win every game but it's important that we didn't lose today. Um, we've closed the gap even slightly. We've still got to play. We've still got to play them. So yeah, it's it's important that we stay focused and stay positive and take what we can from today. Was there anything that you identified or that was identified in the dressing room as the reason for why, as you say, the team didn't stick to the game plan in the first half? No, no. We it wasn't that we we couldn't really identify what was going wrong. Really, we tried we tried to stick to it, but we just couldn't, it just didn't work for us today. Um, we got into good areas and it was our final pass that we couldn't find and we couldn't link up and we couldn't score, which was frustrating for everyone because we know we have got the firepower up front to score, so it's just one of those games really, unfortunately. I think Ed Fleet have admitted that that's maybe one of their better performances this season, certainly one of their best away performances, so I suppose maybe that sometimes you've got to credit the opposition that their game plan worked and successfully stifled all shut down. They've probably watched us and seen how we play and they set up to counter that and they did well at sitting deep and then trying to hit us on the counter because they obviously know we've had a lot of possession, we're a pass inside, we like to work the ball forward and unfortunately they did defend well and they did keep a clean sheet as well as we did so yeah they, they do deserve a little bit of credit but yeah we can't <laughs> We can't win them all, as the gaffer said, unfortunately. You made a couple of strong saves. Were you happy with your contribution this afternoon? Saves-wise, yes. A couple of things with my distribution I could have been happy with. A um, couple of straight passes, but we, all I can put down is we've had a week off, unfortunately. and Hopefully we can kick on after the 95 minutes today and go again next week. One particular save at the end of the first half. A free kick comes in. Dave Winfield sticks out one of his long legs and... It looks like it's going in. What what was it from your point of view? Did you see it late? Did it? Um, I was gonna try and come and get the cross, and then it, the cross dipped last minute, and then I saw this big long leg come out of nowhere, and I had to react to it. Um, he said at half time, "How have I saved it?" And I said to him, well, "I didn't see your leg until last minute, so I got lucky." Um, but yeah, it was important for that save to go in at nil nil. Um, we were frustrated that we did give away the free kick with ten seconds to go, which was silly on our part. Um, we see the free kick at Dover, we conceded from. Um, so we know teams against us, because we're so defensively strong, set pieces are important because they are if, buts and maybes and anything can happen from them. So we've got to stay strong on those and stop giving them away really. When that, you don't see the, the final touch until really late, you say it's a bit of luck, I'd say it's a bit more than that. But is there anything you can do to ensure that you make your own luck? Do you, is it that cliche of making yourself big? Yeah. Um, when you know if you're coming for a cross, when you know you can't get there, you've just got to drop off and wait for any slight touch and then just react off it. So luckily I reacted quick enough and managed to get it away from danger. Yeah, pretty much it. A couple of weeks ago, 10 days, you, you extended your loan here. It's a relationship, a partnership, a move that seems to have benefited everybody. You feel that you're, you're developing, you're getting regular game time. Yeah, um, the pressures that I'm under are massive. I mean, for me to come in here and us to be fighting for promotion is unbelievable. I couldn't have wanted more from a loan, really. Um, I know that I've got to play well and I've got to train well, otherwise we've got a fantastic goalie that's going to come in right over the top of me. And uh, Jake's played numerous games and I've watched Jake when I was seven, so I've got to make sure that I'm on it every game, every day, so yeah, just keep the games coming and hopefully play well in each game. And Reading presumably are keeping tabs on you. Are they are they giving you any feedback on your performances? Um, I think someone's here today, um, so we'll get the whenever I'm next in at Reading, we'll get the clips and we'll watch through it and see what we could have done better, what we did well, and that's what we do with every game really. So yeah, I'll get some feedback. I'll 
be on the phone until 10 o'clock at night tonight and talking to everyone, but yeah, it'll be good. But you feel that pressure that you say you're under and the, the performances, the extra levels that the National League is able to throw at you, you feel that you're developing, that this, is, this move is beneficial for you as, as well as Aldershot Town? Yeah, of course it is, and it's only beneficial for Aldershot if I play well, so if I don't play well it's not beneficial for Aldershot, so I'm lucky that Aldershot and the Gaffer have given me a chance here and luckily that I've been able to repay them with some consistent games and some, a couple of clean sheets, so it's quite nice. Well, excellent. Congratulations on another clean sheet. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Luke. Appreciate that. Thank you.